Welcome to Learn Computer Technology. Learning Outcomes Creation and Understanding of Azure Resource Group. Creation and Understanding of Azure Virtual Machine. Working Experience with Azure CLI. Creation and Understanding of Azure Service Principle. Working Experience with Docker CE. Working Experience with Git Bash Terminal in Microsoft Windows 10. Working Experience with Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. Creation and Understanding of Azure Container Registry. Understanding of Azure Kubernetes Service. Understanding of Kubernetes and Pods. Understanding of YML. History of Azure Kubernetes Service. Access permissions of resources in different resource groups. Use of Azure Container Registry in Azure Kubernetes Service. Working experience with kubectl commands. What is a resource group? A resource group is a container that holds related resources of an Azure cloud. The resource group can include those resources that you want to manage as a group. It is resource creator's decision how you want to allocate resources to resource groups. Generally, it is good to add resources that share the same lifecycle to the same resource group so you can easily deploy, update, and delete them as a group. The resource group stores metadata about the resources. Therefore, specifying a location for the resource group, we are specifying where that metadata is stored. For compliance reasons, we may need to ensure that data is stored in a particular region. Steps to create resource groups. Sign in to the Azure portal. Select resource groups. Select create. Enter the following values. Subscription. Select your Azure subscription. Resource group. Enter a new resource group name Learning Docker. Region. Select an Azure location, such as East US. Select. Review plus create. Select. Create. It takes a few seconds to create a resource group. Select refresh from the top menu to refresh the resource group list, and then select the newly created resource group to open it. Or select notification. The bell icon. From the top, and then select go to resource group to open the newly created resource group. How to create an Ubuntu virtual machine in Azure portal. Azure Virtual Machines VMs, can be created through the Azure portal. This method provides a browser-based user interface to create VMs and their associated resources. This quick start shows how to use the Azure portal to deploy a virtual machine VM, in Azure that runs Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS Gen 2. To see your VM in action, you can use SSH login to the VM using Git Bash then update the virtual machine and install Azure CLI. Type free in search box. Select free services. Select Linux virtual machine, then click create. Create a virtual machine page opens. In the basics tab, under project details, Make sure the correct subscription is selected and then choose to resource group we created earlier or you can create new resource group if you wish. Select Learning Docker from drop down. Under Instance Details, type Docker Machine for the virtual machine name and choose Region East US Security Type Standard Image. Click. See all images. Then select Ubuntu Server 20.04 LTS, Gen 2 for the image. Leave the other defaults. Under Administrator Account, provide a username, such as Azure User and a password and confirm password. Notes. The password must be at least 12 characters long and meet the defined complexity requirements.
Under inbound port rules, choose allow selected ports and then select SSH 22 and HTTP 80 from the drop down. Leave the remaining defaults and then Select the Review plus Create button at the bottom of the page. After validation runs, select the Create button at the bottom of the page. After deployment is complete, select Go to Resource. How to connect to virtual machine. Create a remote SSH connection to the virtual machine. These directions tell you how to connect to your VM from a Windows computer. On the overview page for your virtual machine, copy public IP. Open your local Git bash. Then type command SSH Azure user at public IP. In our case it is 52.249.188.70 and press enter. It will ask for ED25519 fingerprint key. Type yes. Then enter password created during creation of virtual machine. This will not display anything on screen so enter it carefully. Now you logged in to your virtual machine. You can verify it from Azure portal. Type command sudo apt update to update repository list. How to install Azure CLI. Refer Azure CLI installation video link given in description and click on I button on top right corner. Here in short to install Azure CLI in your Ubuntu VM in Azure Cloud use below bash command to install it. How to create Azure Service Principle and what is its importance. An Azure Service Principle is an identity created for use with applications, 
hosted services, and automated tools to access Azure resources. This access is restricted by the roles assigned to the service principal, giving you control over which resources can be accessed and at which level. What is service principal used for? A service principal is created in each tenant where the application is used and references the globally unique app object. The service principal object defines what the app can actually do in the specific tenant, who can access the app, and what resources the app can access. Let us create Azure Service Principal, SPN, with role-based access control, RBAC, through Azure Bash Terminal. This is the simple command for creation of service principal. AZ, AD, SP, create hyphen for hyphen RBAC hyphen N, my SPN. If you run above command the SPN have now contributor role over your subscription. This can be verified by checking your Azure subscription from portal, under access control, I am, role assignments. But our target is not to give that much permission to this service principle so we use this command with in other way as below. To reduce your risk of a compromised service principle, use hyphen hyphen skip hyphen assignment to avoid creating a role assignment, then assign a more specific role and narrow the scope to a resource or resource group. Let's first create the my SPN with no assignments and no roles. AZADSP create hyphen for hyphen RBAC hyphen N double quotes my SPN double quotes hyphen hyphen skip hyphen assignment. Later we'll need the SPN credentials. To make it easier to get these, we'll use environment variables. SPN equals dollar. AZADSP create hyphen for hyphen RBAC hyphen N, my SPN, hyphen hyphen skip hyphen assignment hyphen OJSON. Then let's display the credentials using JQ tool, which is already installed in Azure Cloud Shell, to display the SPN and to extract some specific fields like app id. Echo dollar SPN pipeline JQ. Echo dollar SPN pipeline JQ pipeline R single quotes dot app ID single quotes. We can assign roles to the service principal either using the Azure portal or using the Azure CLI. The first solution is from the Azure portal, you can navigate to your resource group, then access control, I am, role assignments, and then you can assign a role, like reader, to your SPN. The second solution is, using command line. As we have already created a resource group as learning docker with interface we will assign that. Scope equals double quote slash subscription slash your subscription ID slash resource group slash resource group name double quotes then we use the resource group to assign role contributor for the SPN. A Z role assignment create hyphen hyphen role contributor backslash hyphen hyphen assignee dollar echo dollar SPN pipeline JQ hyphen R single quotes dot app id single quotes backslash hyphen hyphen scope dollar scope now you can check the access control I am in your resource group from Azure portal. Note that you can also create a service principal with role contributor and assign the role to multiple resources like two resource groups at once. AZADSP create hyphen for hyphen RBAC hyphen N double quotes my SPN double quotes hyphen hyphen role contributor hyphen hyphen scopes, subscriptions, subscription ID, resource groups, resource group 1, subscriptions, subscription ID, resource groups, resource group 2. Note that also you can use the parameter hyphen hyphen years as number of years for which the credentials will be valid. Default value is 1 year if you don't give values. Azure users typically uses their identity, email and password, to connect to Azure.
but machines, like DevOps build agents, will use the SPN login to Azure using SPN. AZ login hyphen hyphen service hyphen principle hyphen hyphen username dollar. Echo dollar SPN pipeline JQ hyphen R single quotes dot app id single quotes. Hyphen hyphen password dollar. Echo dollar SPN pipeline JQ hyphen R single quotes dot password single quotes. Hyphen hyphen tenant dollar. Echo dollar SPN pipeline JQ hyphen R single quotes dot tenant single quotes. Login from virtual machine in Azure. To Azure Cloud. Using Azure Service Principle. Steps to login. Open your git bash and paste command as below syntax. AZ login hyphen hyphen service hyphen principle hyphen hyphen username app ID hyphen hyphen password password of app ID hyphen hyphen tenant tenant ID of your subscription. Now if we try to get the resource groups we'll see only the one with SPN assigned use below command. AZ group list hyphen O table. Let's open Visual Studio 2019. Select create new project. Search ASP.NET Core Web Application. Click Next. Give project name Web App Project. Location Desktop. Check. Place solution and project in the same directory. Click Next. Select Target Framework. .NET Core. 3.1 LTS. Authentication type, none. Uncheck. Configure HTTPS. Device, OS Linux. Click Create. ASP.NET project, with name, web app project will be created, and loaded in the screen. Let us modify the default welcome text to ASP.NET web application. Let us check project's running status, by clicking, IIS Express, button. Now, it is confirmed, that, our project is running locally on browser at port number 7591. Click, close, to close the running project. Let us open Windows PowerShell. Run command, ls to list the directory. Navigate to Project Folder by command, cd web app project. Then, run command, .NET Publish, to publish the project. Navigate, to, Publish Folder, in Desktop, Web App Project. Create, Docker file, and, paste the code.
Update virtual machine with command. sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade then press Y. Now Azure virtual machine with Ubuntu operating system has been upgraded. Clear screen. Let's install Docker with commands. Follow the screen. You can find the Docker installation code in description or you can also look the video of Docker installation in Ubuntu in our previous video. Open Win SCP and connect it to Azure Virtual Machine then upload the publish folder of Web App Project then rename it to Web App Project. Navigate to uploaded folder, using command, cd web app project. Let's build, the docker image, using command, sudo, docker, build, hyphen t, web app project, dot, then press, enter. Docker image building is in progress. We can list, build ed docker image using command, sudo, docker, images, or, sudo, docker, image, ls. What is Azure Container Registry? Azure Container Registry is a private registry service for building, storing, and managing container images. In this quick start, we are creating an Azure Container Registry instance with the Azure portal. Then, use Docker commands to push a container image into the registry, and finally pull and run the image from our registry. What is the use of Azure Container Registry? Azure Container Registry allows us to build, store, and manage container images and artifacts in a private registry for all types of container deployments. Steps to create a container registry. Search free then, click free services. Navigate to container registry. Then click create. In the basics tab, subscription. Azure Cloud's home, pre-filled. Resource group. Learning Docker. Registry name. Learn Computer Tech, the registry name must be unique within Azure, and contain 5 to 50 alphanumeric characters. Location. Central India. SKU. Standard. Accept default values for the remaining settings. Then, select, Review plus Create. After reviewing the settings, select Create. When the deployment succeeded message appears, select the container registry in the portal. Take note of the registry name and the value of the login server, which is a fully qualified name ending with Azure CR.io in the Azure Cloud.
Steps to push image to registry. To push an image to an Azure Container Registry, we have the Image Web App Project in Azure Virtual Machine. Before pushing and pulling container images, we must log in to the registry instance. Sign into the Azure CLI on our virtual machine, then run the AZACR login command. Specify only the registry resource name when logging in with the Azure CLI. Don't use the fully qualified login server name. AZACR login hyphen hyphen name learn computer tech. User service principal to log in. Username. Service principal app ID. Password. Service principal password. This doesn't show pasted password so paste and press enter. You will be login. Before we push an image to our registry, we must tag it with the fully qualified name of our registry login server. We will tag the image using the docker tag command. sudo docker tag web app project learn computer tech.azurecr.io slash web app project. Finally, we use docker push to push the image to the registry instance. sudo docker push learn computer slash web app project. List container images. To list the images in your registry, navigate to your registry in the portal and select repositories, then select the web app project repository we created with Docker Push. By selecting the web app project repository, we see the latest image under tags. What is Azure Kubernetes Service? Azure Kubernetes Service is a managed container orchestration service based on the open-source Kubernetes system, which is available on the Microsoft Azure Public Cloud. Kubernetes is the de facto open-source platform for container orchestration but typically requires a lot of overhead in cluster management. What is Azure Kubernetes Service used for? Azure Kubernetes Service is a robust and cost-effective container orchestration service that helps you to deploy and manage containerized applications in seconds where additional resources are assigned automatically without the headache of managing additional servers. What is Kubernetes as a service? Kubernetes as a service, cause, makes it possible to operate Kubernetes, the world's most popular container orchestrator, as a managed service. Cause services are commonly provided in the public cloud but some cause platforms can also be deployed on premises. What is pod in Azure Kubernetes? Pods are the smallest deployable units of computing that you can create and manage in Kubernetes. A pod, as in a pod of whales or peapod, is a group of one or more containers, with shared storage and network resources, and a specification for how to run the containers. Steps to create Azure Kubernetes Services, AKS. Open Azure Cloud PowerShell Terminal. Let's create Azure Resource Group by name, Cube Group. Run the command. AZ Group create hyphen hyphen name Cube Group hyphen hyphen location East US. Let's understand the command. What to do, AZ Group create. What will be name, name Cube Group. Which location this resource will be created, location East US. Let's create Azure Kubernetes service in above resource with name, AKS Demo with one node and, monitoring, enabled. Run the command. AZAKS create hyphen hyphen resource hyphen group cube group hyphen hyphen name AKS demo hyphen hyphen node hyphen count one hyphen hyphen enabled hyphen add-ons monitoring hyphen hyphen generate hyphen SSH hyphen keys. Let's understand the command. 
What to do, AZAKS create. Where to create, resource group cube group. What will be name, name AKS demo. What will be number of nodes, node count one. What additional services to enable, enabled add-ons monitoring. What credentials to generate, generate SSH keys. This keys required to access AKS. It will run prerequisite by registering required resource provider for us such as Microsoft Operational Insights and Microsoft Container Services. Then it will run for some time and create the Azure Kubernetes service infrastructure for us. Let's get the credentials to Azure Cloud PowerShell to interact with a KS form terminal. Run the command. AZAKS get hyphen credentials hyphen hyphen resource hyphen group cube group hyphen hyphen name AKS demo. Let's understand the command. What credential to get? AZAKS get credentials. From which resource group? Resource group cube group. What is the object that we are taking credentials? Name AKS demo. Note. This credential is necessary to run kubectl commands in Azure Kubernetes master node. Master node of Azure Kubernetes service is managed by Microsoft. Master is responsible of running all kubectl commands. It is consisted of control manager, API server, scheduler and etcd database. Master node function is complex in nature. That is the reason Microsoft is managing this node for automatic install and updates also making this service simple for customers. Azure Kubernetes Service is subversion of Kubernetes open source project honored by Cloud Native Computing Foundation, CNCF, invented at Google Labs. The core programming language in which Kubernetes is developed is Go language. Go is a statically typed, compiled programming language designed at Google by Robert Griesemer, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson. Let's check the running pods by command. kubectl get pods. Note that kubectl is pre-installed by Microsoft for us in Azure Cloud PowerShell. Here no pod is running. Let's check the nodes by command. kubectl get nodes. It is showing one node as we have created by command during creation of AKS. Let's verify it in Azure portal. Azure resource group by name cube group is created. Click on it. On the overview page of resource group we found AKS resource by name AKS demo. Click on it. Again on overview page we find the details of AKS demo. To run applications in Kubernetes we need YML definition files. Let's upload app.yml to Azure Cloud PowerShell. The app.yml definition has pointer to fetch Docker image from Azure Container Registry for running in Kubernetes pods. In this deployment we are using previously created Container Registry. Let's upload services.yml to Azure Cloud PowerShell. Let's create IAM role so that AKS from resource group cube group can access Azure Container Registry on other resource group learning Docker. 
This is also known as service principle as we read in previous videos. Let's create six environment variables. Dollar AKS underscore resource underscore group equals cube group in double quotes. Dollar AKS underscore resource underscore name equals AKS demo in double quotes. Dollar ACR underscore resource underscore group equals learning docker in double quotes. Dollar ACR underscore name equals learn computer tech in double quotes. Dollar client underscore ID equals dollar. AZAKS show hyphen hyphen resource hyphen group dollar AKS underscore resource underscore group hyphen hyphen name dollar AKS underscore resource underscore name hyphen hyphen query identity profile dot cubelet identity dot client ID in double quotes hyphen hyphen output TSV. This command get ID of Azure Kubernetes services running. Here TSV means tab separated value. Dollar ACR underscore ID equals dollar AZACR show hyphen hyphen name dollar ACR underscore name hyphen hyphen resource group dollar ACR underscore resource underscore group hyphen hyphen query ID in double quotes hyphen hyphen output TSV. This command get ID of Azure Container Registry containing our web app project Docker image. A Z role assignment create hyphen hyphen assignee dollar client underscore id hyphen hyphen role acr pull hyphen hyphen scope dollar acr underscore id. This command gives permission to Azure Kubernetes services to access Docker image stored in Azure Container Registry in Learning Docker Resource Group. Let's verify I am role on Azure Portal. Navigate to Resource Group, Learning Docker. On Overview, click Learn Computer Tech, Container Registry. Click Access Control, I am. Then click Role Assignments. We found I am role AKS Demo, Agent Pool. This I am role we have created now. Let's run command. kubectl apply hyphen f app dot yml. To run application. Let's run command. kubectl apply hyphen f services dot yml. To run services for above running application. Let's run command. kubectl get service my hyphen service hyphen hyphen watch. To get the details of running services of pod. We got the public IP of the running pod in which our application is running. Let's browse the application with public IP followed by port 5000 because. Our application is running in port 5000. Now our application is accessible. Some other commands are kubectl get pods, kubectl get services, my services, kubectl API versions. kubectl describe deployment kubectl delete services my services kubectl delete deployment app deployment caution if you want to preserve your deployment don't run kubectl delete commands. kubectl get pods. kubectl get nodes. Congratulations! 
By configuring just a few settings, we've deployed a publicly accessible application in Azure Kubernetes Service, AKS. Hope you have learned and understand the topic. Please like, share, subscribe and express your views in comment for our motivation. Thanks for watching.